Good morning, everyone. This is, we're filming this on Sunday, so our eating on Sunday is a little bit different than what it would be throughout the, the really? We got some background music here. <laughs> Okay, so um, the our, our weekends and what we eat is a slightly different from what we eat during the week, um, only because we have a little bit more time on the weekends and we our schedule is a little bit different. So first things first, let's get coffee. Normally we'd go to like this really small local place, but they aren't open right now. Um, and during the weekdays we make our own coffee, but on Sundays we go to Starbucks. Yeah. Oh. Isn't that right, Jack? Just kidding. From Starbucks. Alright, so what did we order? First, we got a pup cup for this little fella. Pup cup for Jack. And then we got two, one for each of us, venti americanos with extra steamed heavy cream. Our Starbucks goes really cheap on the uh, heavy cream, so we do get extra. So we're just, we are just extra like that. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go for a drive and go for a walk and spend some time together this Sunday morning. All right guys, time for our first meal. Let's get to it. I got a lovely chaffle built into an egg sandwich with bacon and cream cheese, and it's going to be delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Over the lips, over the gums. Watch out, belly, here she comes. All right, and on mine, this is going to be my sandwich right here. And the same thing, there's a little bit of cream cheese, there is bacon and um, an egg. And then these ones, I really like... I really like sweet things, so I put cinnamon powder and butter and a little bit of sweetener on mine, and that's gonna be my breakfast. Yay, meal one done. What time is it? It is 12.31, so first meal, 12.31. Alright, we just grilled up these babies and we are gonna dive in. All right, baby, what we got? We got a ribeye for me and a sirloin with a tablespoon of butter for Crystal. Can't beat some Traeger grilled ribeyes and sirloin. Doesn't get any better than this. That's right. So, it is, what time is it? Uh, it is We're gonna figure out what time it is. 6.51. It's 6.51. We're eating our last meal of the day I prefer to have a leaner cut of meat with a side of butter. Robert likes all the fat in his meat. So that is why we have different types of steaks. And then I really enjoy having some sort of yogurt or a shake or something in the evening. So after I'm done eating my steak, I'm going to do um, some of this yogurt. My steak is also 
uh, about 12 ounces and Robert's is about a pound. And then in just a few moments, we're, after we're done eating and everything, we're gonna break down our macros for you guys and let you know what we ate today. I think most will be surprised at how many macros was in my day, how many calories. I eat a lot. All right guys, so we just finished eating all of our food for the day and we're gonna tell you and break down our macros for you. Uh, Robert, would you like to go first? I'd love to go first. All right, so I had my coffee this morning, had my half a keto brick, and, oops, I did not have that. Let me remove yeah, that. Yeah, he had a half a keto brick and he didn't even show you guys. Selfish. Yes, I did eat it though, it was amazing. Um, so we had that chaffle with, I had eggs and bacon and cream cheese on that earlier. And then I had my ribeye just now. And the totals for that food were 247.77 grams of fat, so about 250 grams of fat, 11.6 grams of total carbs, and 199.32, so about 200 grams of protein, which breaks down to about a 72.6% 7, of my calories coming from fat, and a whopping total of 3,080 calories. So hit my 3,000 calorie goal on the head pretty much. All right, so when I originally did my macros, the calculator calculated it a little bit higher than I actually than it actually was. So my fat was 204 grams, my protein was 185 grams, and my carbs was 19. That was just from the uh, yogurt and the almonds, and that gives me a total of 2,652 calories. And my ratio was 69.3% uh, fat, 27.9% protein, and 2.8% carbs. How many percent fat? Uh, 69 something. 69. But my, generally my fat ratio during like a building season, um, I do really well between like 68 and 71. Um, I can do a lot higher fat, but I just do really well in a like building season um, with higher protein um, but neither one of us calculated our macros until the end of the day and I would say generally on the weekends that's pretty much what we do we know what foods have carbs in it we just try to avoid those types of foods um, you'll notice that neither one of us had vegetables today and that's pretty typical for both of us we just don't really gravitate towards vegetables um, every once in a while we'll go out to eat or we'll crave like a really big salad so we'll get a bunch of salad stuff but um, on a I feel like this is a pretty good like regular basis pretty typical like weekend. weekend food like we usually always do some sort of like chaffle or like breakfast meal together and then we'll do like steak or chicken or something like that in the evening usually I have a keto brick like part of a keto brick during the day but I did not have that today I just had the yogurt and um, almonds but yeah we actually only had one coffee today too so we yeah. usually have another coffee but we, we only had one today but we ate exactly what we wanted we're totally satiated we felt uh -huh. great and like i said my my total carbs are only 11 grams so yeah you don't have to chow down on a bunch of carbs in order to feel relaxed and have fun with the foods on the weekend yeah and we don't recommend just like going crazy on the weekends but neither one of us have a goal of like cutting down right now or losing any body fat we're kind of just in this maintaining my goals look dead sexy every day we're in this this whole goal of trying to build muscle right now, um, and we both pretty much eat, you know, at our maintenance slash surplus on a regular basis. So we both just feel really good, and we just like to show that some days we don't track our macros, but we're still right on the dot with everything that we eat because we've been doing this for so long. We are so used to knowing pretty much how much protein and how much fat we're getting from different foods. So. Um, the more you do it, the easier it gets, and you don't have to stress out over little things. So, any last words? This is your video. This uh, is my video. And you did a great job, baby. I'm very proud of you. Great video. Thanks. I do one every Friday. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right, guys. Uh, what? You done? Yep, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> he, he, like, wants to take over right now, but he's trying really hard not to. You have something really else to say? To. I was going to talk about side-by-sides and four-wheelers, but not really to go for this video. <laughs> All right. See y'all next time. Bye. You're going to hit the camera. <laughs> <answer>. <laughs>